Hello everyone, VegasVic1965. In this week's video or tutorial, uh, we're back again with the villagers and we're going to be looking at the uh, weaponsmith this week. So without further ado, let's find out. Welcome back everyone, VegasVic1965. And of course, one of the first things we're going to need is our villager, which we have a few villagers over there. And we're also going to need a grindstone because that is the uh, workstation for a weaponsmith. Now to get the grindstone, you will need these items here. Two sticks, a stone slab, and two uh, planks, wood planks of any kind. Once you have that, and you got your grindstone in your villager, you pop right on over and you'll go ahead and set your workstation down for him. And as long as you've never traded with this villager before, then you, he will turn into a blacksmith. I'm saying, well, one of the blacksmiths, which in this case would be the weaponsmith. Again, if you've already traded with a villager in the past, then that village is already locked in on their trades and their profession. So you cannot change them. I get that question a lot. I figured I might as well try and let people know right away in this video that any villagers that you have, that you've traded with, they are already locked out. So you need a fresh villager, pop down your workstation, he will change into that. And then up on the screen, you'll see the trades that are offered for both Bedrock on the left and Java on the right. Now on the left side, you'll see those are all the items. You'll get every single one of them, provided that you do level these guys all the way through to master. On the right side, you'll see Java will be pretty much the same with the exception of the very first uh, trades that they have. And that's for the first trade will be, of course, coal. The, the, the second one that you will get out of that will either be an iron ax or it will be an iron enchanted sword. So you'll get either one of those two, but the rest of those you will definitely get. And if you're super lucky, as I mentioned, if you saw last week's video and the other previous villager videos, if you're really lucky, those one of those diamond tools or more could potentially have an unbreaking three enchantment already on it, which will save you uh, in levels and also uh, some, some time as far as putting some enchants on. That is probably the best one I can I can mention that uh, if you find something like that. Now, if you do happen to find uh, one of the unbreaking three and it just happens to have sharpness on it, some sort of a sharpness, it, that's okay. The sharpness enchantment can be improved. Uh, if you're looking for smite, then of course you, uh, you would need one if it's it says smite and, and unbreaking three you're still good you can upgrade that one but you can't change the smite if it already has it on the weapon to uh, sharpness okay well I wanted to bring you over to the AP vanilla server uh, that's for adults craft and show you what I have done with my villagers if you've seen mine in the past uh, my other villager series uh, tutorials then you'll know that I want to definitely make sure to tell you about this little thing right here and that's of course to get your 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 diamond tools weapons uh, all of those things you can get for a really 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 low price if you do zombie villager conversions now in the link or in the description excuse me I'm gonna put a, uh, a link for my no redstone zombie villager conversion unit It is extremely simple to make and do uh, and anybody can do it to, to be honest with you it is just really really way too simple but these are the prices you'll get after two conversions, just two zombie villager conversions. If you're interested in getting prices like this, a diamond axe for just one emerald, then what you need to do is go check out that video. But again, now I want to make, make sure I mention that these prices that you do on zombie villager conversions for any of the villagers, those prices will only be good for you. It won't be the same for everybody else. So if you want to check that out, just uh, click on that link down in the description. Well, that's about going to do it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video on the uh, Weaponsmith Villager. If you did, click that like button. And if you want to subscribe for my past and future videos, click that subscribe button. It really helps me and lets me know that I provide great quality content for each, uh, each and every week. Again, I make videos every Wednesday, have them edited and out by 5 a.m. Thursday morning. Until next week's video, guys, we'll be back again with another, another Villager in the Villager series. And until then, we'll see you. Thanks again for watching. Bye-bye.